Big election last night in Birmingham, Alabama, where an upstart beat the incumbent, 36-year-old Randall Woodfin, a prosecutor and member of the school board, uh, set progressives on fire with his campaign, beating out incumbent William Bell, uh, pretty much uh, dominating uh, this runoff. He joins us right now. Uh, Mary Leck Woodfin, how you doing? Hey, Roland, good morning, brother. How's everything going? Doing great there. Glad to have you on. We missed to have you on you last week, uh, but we got you uh, on the phone now. You got 50% of the vote last night. Uh, your opponent hit you, said you were inexperienced and not ready to lead. Uh, obviously, uh, you uh, have been mayor elect, mayor elect for a few hours. Uh, what's the first thing you're going to do coming out of the gate as mayor of Birmingham once you're sworn in? Uh, I think it's important that I take a look, do a personnel assessment to make sure each department is right size, um, making sure we're not either too top heavy, overstaff or understaff and providing the services each department should provide. I think the second thing we have to do is, is take a look at a third party coming in to look at how money has been spent, making sure there is no abuse, negligence or fraud with our tax dollars, making sure we're transparent with those and how those tax dollars are being spent. And then is, is sitting down with the police chief to, to simply say this, Whatever we're doing around crime is not working. We have to have a legitimate public safety plan that makes people feel safe where they live, on their porch, and in their front yard. Uh, I actually spoke uh, in Birmingham, I guess it was about a year ago, uh, a partnership between the mayor's office and the police department as well, uh, the community policing uh, there, and we talked about uh, that very issue, bridging that divide there, and so obviously the homicide rate is, is high there in Birmingham, and so uh, what do you tell uh, the residents, uh, not just uh, police department as well, how do you bring those two together? Well, I think on the, resi on the residential end, it's about empowering people where they live. I think sometimes we fail to do that. I think when people feel empowered where they live, they start to treat their own neighborhood, their own street, their own block where they live, live on differently. I think the second thing we have to do is the city has to do its part is not just investing in its infrastructure but cleaning up the city. And people act differently where they live if they know they have a partner at the table that has an interest in making sure they feel safe by simply cleaning up their area. I think the third thing we have to do is wrap our arms around our young boys around this notion of what empathy and conflict resolution looks like before they become adults or teenagers. Last question for you. Uh, of course, you're 36. Mayor Bell is 68. You get a whole bunch of young versus old. Uh, your thoughts uh, about this young versus old divide? Uh, is there a divide or is this healthy uh, for black politics to have uh, folks uh, who are running for office, no matter the age, uh, fight about the ideas? And I think it's a silly notion, Roland. That's my honest opinion. I think where we are, not just as a city, but as a country, where I am, not just a candidate, but as a person. I grew up in a household that were never less than eight people in my home, four generations. There's no such thing as a generation boomer versus generation X or generation X versus generation Y. For me, we wanted to commit to, as not only as a candidate, but as mayor, all three generations, pouring into and committed to all three generations. If anything, the expectation I have is for Generation Boomer to pour into, invest into, and be intentional about passing the leadership torch to X and Y. All right. Well, Mary Woodfin, Mary Leck Woodfin, uh, Mary Bell uh, was always a frequent guest on this show. He was always welcome, and so you'll have uh, the same courtesy. So when you come to D.C., we'd love to have you there here on the set with us. Roland, thanks a lot, brother. And I'll be in Birmingham uh, speaking in December for a school choice initiative. So I'm sure our paths will cross. Yes, sir. All right, thanks a bunch. Right. Days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't going to cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got a fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.